In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters coming together as God's family to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the King of martyrs. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your cross, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, each day you feed us with your body and with your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the, the blood of the martyrs, Saint Andrew Kim, Tuang, and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdom of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, and he has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Therefore, whoever among you belong to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his God be with him. Let everyone who has survived in whatever place he may have dwelt be assisted by the people of that place with silver, gold, goods and cattle, together with free will offerings for the house of God in Jerusalem. Then the family heads of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and Levites, everyone that is whom God had inspired to do so, prepared to go up to build the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All their neighbors gave them help in every way with silver, gold, goods and cattle and with many precious gifts besides all their free will offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming with our mouths then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with rejoicing. The Lord has Lord done marvels God for us. God. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord, Lord has done marvels for us. 
Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed of the, to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, no one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has more will be given, and from those who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be. <clears throat> On Saturday, we have read from the Gospel of St. Luke about the sower, the parable of the sower. And what we are, what we have read today is also a continuation of that. And that parable that is about the sower, the Lord explains how his disciples are called to hear the word of God, to understand, to make it part of their self. That is to be open to God in order that to be transformed, to be changed. Unlike the seed that is sown among the thorns where it is uh, charcoal or among the rocky soil where it fails take root we need allow the word of god to take root and grow and bear fruit in our own lives so in today's gospel immediately follows the Lord's parable of the sower. And this is the parable that the Lord takes his teaching one step further. Not only do we need to, to clear the debris, the thorns from our life, so that the word of God may grow, not only do we clear our souls of rockness, that is hardness and uh, resistance to his teaching. Not only to do, we need to make sure that our hearing of the word of God is much more than the surface level, external. In today's gospel, the Lord gives us this image of a lamp, a light, 
when we have properly heard the word of God and take it to heart, to understand it, to make it part of our life, our life has begun to be filled with light. Others can see the grace, the blessing we have received or we have uh, in our heart or in our life. So, where there was once darkness, there is now light. Like in the creation story, as we read it in the book of Genesis, when God says, let there be light. When we have allowed the Lord's teachings to be planted in us, new light is born. The person, when hearing God's word, embraces and understands it, they are filled with a light that others can see. You can see the difference the gospel makes in the lives of people who are living it. We can see it very clearly. And you can see the lack of light when people are not ready or do not listen or do not understand what the word of God tells us. No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lamp stand. Those who have been filled with the light of the gospel need to make the light known. And this is what we are. And uh, in the gospel of St. Matthew in chapter 5, Jesus very clearly says to his disciples, you are the light of the world. And that is what is today also we hear from this gospel of St. Luke. Today we honor the saints, the martyrs who died in Korea, St. Andrew Kim and his companions. About 111 were canonized by our Holy Father, St. John Paul II. St. Andrew was a priest. And one of the things what we know about this great saint, Andrew, is that he risked his life smuggling missionaries into Korea. He invited and he made them uh, to, uh, he helped them to enter to uh, Korea simply because he wanted the light of Christ to be light in his country and his people. He wanted that the word of God to be preached among his people, that all may be converted to Christianity. For this, he was arrested, tortured, and killed. So St. Andrew truly shared the light that he had received. In fact, he realized that this is the most important thing a Christian can do. It is worth risking your life for. It is worth dying for. Because the gospel sets man free. And Jesus told us this very clearly. When we believe in him, when we receive him, we become free. So the gospel makes us free. And St. Andrew wanted this freedom to be shared in his people. Christianity, our faith, brings Christ, the Savior, to us. We become part. We become the body of Christ. The preaching of the gospel is a matter of eternal life and death. Souls are at stake. Then Andrew believed this. He lived this. This is why we continue to support the mission 
of the church as best we can. This is why we contribute to help missionaries all over the world to continue the message of the gospel, to continue to open that we also to, open, uh, to continue to open our hearts to the transformative power of the gospel. That, that we, may, we may shine with the light of Christ. So today, as we celebrate the feast of this great saint, martyr, Saint Andrew Kim and his companion martyrs, let us be united in prayer to remember the people of Korea that to light the Christ, the light of Christ in their country and in the world for all the missionaries in different parts of the world where they put their life at risk that the light of Christ always be with them to share what they believe in. So this is a good reminder for all of us even we are the, the martyrs. We are to be martyrs, to be witnesses, to be the lights. As we leave this church, at the end of the Mass, we take Jesus with us. When we leave the door of the church, to share the light we have received with everybody, that others may see Christ in us. Let us humbly offer our petitions to the Father. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit bring forth in all the baptized a sustained commitment to the vocation of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God bless their work in protecting the sanctity of human life at all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor and the rejected, may the Lord bring them refuge and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For students in this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit increase in them the gifts of wisdom and understanding this school year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Larry Jurgens and Barbara Irwin, for whom this Mass is offered. May God welcome them into his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, we ask you to accept our petitions and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received it. The wine we offer, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you, for the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ has to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous work by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble best of strength to bear you what you witnesses through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks brought it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray for the, that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Archbishop, Eusebius, and Daniel, auxiliary bishops, Peter, Sartan, retired bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may marry to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, ye take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who look to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on the say the word, and my soul shall be.
the plate. Put by 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 the plate. By the plate. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>